Thank you. Another 7-Eleven stormed by a group of armed robbers, this time in Carson. At least seven have been hit recently, but this time the crooks, they don't get away. Our Rachel Manitop joins us live from Carson, where the attempted robbery was all caught on tape. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Kareen. Hi, Sandy. Good evening to you both. Yes, this could be part of a string of robberies at 7-Eleven stores across our region, but the Sheriff's Department can't confirm that detail just yet. The robbery at this location happened around 1.30 this morning, and a Carson Sheriff's deputy just happened to be pulling in at the very same time. Take a look at this. From one angle of the surveillance video, you can see the suspects walk into the store and immediately jump the counter in an attempt to rob the cash register. P three people entered from the front and one from the side door, according to the clerk on duty. Less than 30 seconds later, a cop cruiser unknowingly backs into a parking spot right outside. The deputy walks in, realizes there's a robbery in progress, pulls out his weapon and calls for backup. From a different angle, you can see a group of deputies show up. One suspect has their hands up. Deputies end up arresting four people involved. Early this morning, a 7-Eleven in Chinatown was also targeted. Then overnight, Thursday into Friday, five 7-Eleven stores were robbed across LA and Long Beach. The suspects made off with cash, candy, and lotto tickets. So in total, seven of the chain stores were robbed within the last two days. Here in Carson, the clerk tells us the robbers threatened him, demanded cash, his wallet. Listen to his scary experience. He's coming fast, take a gun for me, my head. Then another lady take a knife for me. He's open register, so I'm so okay, sir. I open register, you take a money, please. We cannot hit me, we cannot kill me, please. Then I I know, okay, because I'm Lara scared, you know, I'm Lara scared. The Sheriff's Department can't say for certain whether all of these robberies are related, but there are certainly similarities in each one of these incidents. One deputy told us there's a high probability of a connection. We're live in Carson tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff, KTLA 5 News. All right, Rachel, thank you. A 